Hello guys and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you what shape keys are in Blender. So if you have no idea, I'm going to explain it to you in under five minutes, the fundamentals and the basics. This definitely isn't going to cover everything. There's a lot more can be said. This is just simply um, putting it out there. So if somebody ever asks you what are shape keys, then you kind of have a general understanding of what they are and how to set them up in Blender. So that's what this video is under five minutes. Let's get into it. So go ahead and open up a new scene in Blender. Now you could use the default cube, but we're just gonna go ahead, hit A to select everything and then X and delete. Let's go Shift A, go to our mesh options. We're gonna add in a Suzanne monkey head. It's just very fun to play with and it has a lot of visual interest and it's a very good demonstration. So let's take this monkey head here and with this object selected or any object you wanna work with, we're gonna go down to our tabs here. We're gonna be clicking on this object data properties tab. What we're gonna see here is something called shape keys and this is where we're gonna do our shape keys. So if we hit plus initially with an object selected in Blender, it's gonna create what's called our basis. Now the basis is just essentially what our shape keys are gonna be using to compare where it originally was. So if you want everything to go back to place, back to a value of zero where it was originally, it'll be going back to what the basis is. I'll quickly explain that. So if we hit plus past that point, it's gonna start adding in what are called our keys. So here I added in a key and by default it's just called key one. So with this key selected, not the basis, but we wanna make sure we select our key. We're gonna come and tab into edit mode. And in edit mode, any vertice that we move around in 3D space, like this, okay? It doesn't matter what it is. If we move it around in the shape key here and we tab out of edit mode, what we can do is come to this value and if we make it one, it'll be that effect all the way to one. If we make it 0.5, it'll only be half that effect. And if we make it down to zero, it will have none of the effect. Now, what we don't want to do at any time is when we go into shape key, is we don't want to duplicate um, edges or faces or vertices. We also don't want to extrude anything. And we also don't want to add in any new geometry by adding in loop cuts. Once we've added in this basis, we don't want to do anything further. Now, one thing we can also I can also mention here, as with the key one here selected, if you made this value one, and you have an object that's completely symmetrical, which means it's the same on both sides with its topology, what you can do is increase this key value one, this key one to a value of one, come down here, you can go to new shape from mix, and you can click on this little tab again, and you can go to mirror shape key. Now with this key two, it is a perfect mirror of what we just did over here. And you can also come click on this little X here and it'll set everything back to zero automatically. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if I quickly just get rid of these shape keys, whenever we go and we add a modifier, so for example, I had a subdivision surface modifier on here and I went to my shape keys. If I went and added in a shape key here and I just did something with this mesh over here, what I cannot do now is go to my, um, if I went back to my modifiers, you cannot apply a modifier that has a shape key applied to it. So that is one thing you wanna keep in mind. And that goes for most of the modifiers, I believe all of them. So tabbing back into edit mode, going to my shape keys here. I'm gonna quickly just exaggerate some of this deformation here, just by pulling these vertices in a little bit more of extreme pose, just making it interesting. Tabbing back out of edit mode. And I'm gonna show you what we can also do. You can also take this value here and say for example, you come down here to your timeline. So I'll be on key one here. Um, what I'm gonna do is with this value at zero, I'm gonna hit I to insert a keyframe. So hovering over this little tab, we can hit I to insert a keyframe. And then we can move over our timeline here. We can increase this value to whatever we want. And we can also hit I. And we, that's how we very simply um, add keyframes to this. And we can very quickly animate our um, shape key as well to give us some interesting effects without any sort of rigging. It does have its limitations, but they are useful. And that's been it as far as basic tips. I'm just gonna keep it at that. So these are some fundamental things um, to introduce you to what shape keys are. I hope you're able to use them and I hope you found this video useful.